How's it going guys? It's Mash and welcome to Let's Play Mega Man 2 Part 2. Anyway, we're going to be going up against Bubble Man now. Yep, Bubble Man. Anyway, Bubble Man is the first humanoid robot in the universe created for underwater battles. Good point is, he has a bubbly personality. Bad point is, he is a lavish spender. He likes hot springs and dislikes oil slicks. Yeah. But yeah, Bubble Man's stage is pretty, pretty simple. The only real annoying thing are those frog things. And on this third one, always run forward. Don't don't worry about getting hit because you're gonna end up getting your life back. But if you if you just if you see it and you get hit by the frogs, he'll knock you off and you will die. It will happen. So don't do it. And these little shell things are once you shoot them they're shell falls off and they get really fast. If you shoot their shell again, they'll drop something most of the time, but... Yeah. And we're surprisingly low on our Metal Blades right now, which is kind of sad. How much I've actually used. And I actually think I actually died. Yeah, I'm gonna die in this episode. I think twice. But right now... If you notice up on the top right there, those are spikes. They will kill you. And we're in water as well. This is something I think I talked about in the first um, Mega Man 1. Where you jumped like you normally did when you weren't in water. But in this game, they changed it a little bit. Where if you jump, you're going to jump pretty fucking high. You'll you'll actually jump farther when, than where those spikes are actually. But we touch those spikes, we die instant death. So we don't want to do that. So you gotta be very, very careful. And right now, this was me trying to charge up my metal blades because my metal blades were doing really, really low, significantly low. And these things have a pretty good drop rate. But I was getting so many damn health pellets rather than getting charge pellets. It was just... I think I got tired of it. Yeah, I got... Oh, there we go. Yeah, and I think that was pretty much it. Anyway, I'm gonna die here randomly coming up and oh, because of the spikes but I thought I died from the spikes here what the hell? that was probably from a previous playthrough but for some reason you have to be at the wall that last jump that we had to do because if you're not you'll touch the spikes still and you'll die automatically and I've lost countless lives from it and it's annoying it's a pain in the ass pisses me off more than anything in the world And those giant fish, uh, as you notice, the angler on the top of his head is his weakness. You can sometimes hit it with the metal blades, but I'd rather not waste my metal blades anymore. And if you if you actually notice, these little frogs have a huge drop rate. They're sort of like the aquatic version of the birds that we were dealing with earlier. Like you, you're gonna see me shoot right here, and you're gonna just see me like constantly get a shitload of stuff. Like you can see a constant drop rate. Look at that, like so much stuff. So much. Now I messed up here and I think oh yeah, this is where I die. Yeah. Those crabs suck balls and they're random where they're gonna land majority of the time, unless you just keep running. If you just keep running, you will avoid them all pretty much, and you won't die like I did. But yeah, now we get to go through this whole little piece of shit again. Like, I am very careful with those spikes. I hate the spikes. Yeah, it's this jump right here. That jump. This one I've never had a problem with. Because for the most part, I'm really careful. And yeah. This is Bubble Man's stage. And where those crabs are actually is the end of the stage. I... So it's kind of kind of lame how we die right at the end of the stage, only have to do all this shit again. Look at that! Look 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 at the drop rate that these things are getting. Look at this! Like I'm going into this thing fully armed with metal blades and full life. Metal blades is also Bubble Man's weakness, so it's just this just isn't fair. Like I said, I feel dirty halfway through the game because of this damn weapon because it's just so good.
And anyway, we are going up against Bubble Man. As you notice, there are spikes on the top of the floor room. Don't jump. <laughs> if you do jump, know how to jump. But we really won't have to jump. We could take the damages that Bubble Man hit us with. I mean, it's nothing, because there we go. We've beaten Bubble Man. And we've achieved, achieved his power, which is Bubble Lead. Or Bubble Lead, I don't know. I, I call it Bubble Lead. Pretty much, we'll have the ability to shoot bubbles. I'm, I'm not joking. Bubbles that'll slide on the floor. Yeah. Bubble Lead. We fought Bubble Man so we could shoot bubbles. Yeah. Anyway, we are now going up against Woodman. And yes, the description says it. He is a robot fully made of wood. Yeah. Even though his body is c coated with metal, he has no immunity to fire. Yeah. He's made of wood, and he's a robot. Was Dr. Wily smoking weed when he was in the middle of making Woodman? I mean, I don't know. I really don't know. But anyway, Woodman's good point. He's a naturalist. The bad point is, he has a touchy disposition. He likes mountaineering, and he dislikes harm to nature, which is understandable, since, you know, he's made of nature. And we're going through his stage also, and his stage is pathetically easy due to the Metal Blades. Metal Blades pretty much rape shit with everything here, and it's no surprise, no surprise at all why I feel dirty when I play this game when I have Metal Blades. Like, it just, it just isn't fair. It isn't fair for the enemies. Look at this, like, those little bat things are invulnerable after they start flying. They're invincible when they're in their little ball forms, but just... It's so, it's so easy. And, and we're having to deal with these little monkey bastards right there, and... Look at that, we kill them before they're even a problem. And look, now we get to deal with birds again! Do I get an extra life here? I'm pretty sure I, I got an extra life here. There have been times where I've actually killed those birds, and I've gotten like two lives. Oh, yeah, I was gonna get a life, and Metal Blade. Sometimes, like if it, if Metal Blade flies through something, it I guess it cuts it and destroys it, so I couldn't get the life, which kind of sucked. But we'll do just fine. And these little rabbit things as well randomly shoot tor torpedoes at us, but. Like, the, the, the stage is designed for Metal Blades. The stage is just designed for us to go through and just rate face with Metal Blades. But the last enemies here, these little Roadrunner things, cannot be hit by the Metal Blades, surprisingly. And for the most part, if you don't move forward, they will, they will jump right in front of you and you'll avoid them. And now we are going up against Woodman. Yeah, that's right, guys. We're going up against a robot made of wood. When we're shooting... Technically, it's it's heated power energy cells that we're shooting and we're raping its face. And anyway, one man has two moves that he does at the same time. He'll do those. He'll launch four pieces of leaves in the air that are supposedly dangerously deadly to us, and he'll create a wood shield. He'll shoot the wood shield, and that's the only time we're actually able to hit him. As you've noticed, he's invulnerable while the shield is out, and. Now that we've gotten to this side of the, of the screen, we're pretty much no longer needing to worry about those four, le four little leaves that he keeps launching, because we're perfectly away from it. Yeah. That was wood, man. Uh, and these robot masters, are, they're memorable, but it's just, they're so pathetically easy to beat in this game, it's just sad. Sad, sad, sad. Sad, sad, sad. And we've achieved also the wood shield, or the leaf shield, as it says here. The leaf shield will create the four leaves that Woodman had around him on us, and we can launch them at people as well. Which is necessity against this bastard right here, Airman. Airman is a robot with a huge propeller installed in his body. You wouldn't tell because he's got a huge propeller in his fucking chest, right? I mean, just saying. It's 
It can create powerful gusts of wind. I would guess so since it's, you know, a fan and his name is Airman. A good point is putting on airs. I don't get it. Bad point is he's windy talk. His windy talk. I don't know. He likes surfing and dislikes fall of the leaf. I don't even know what that is. Is that a song? I don't I have no earthly idea. But Airman stage is pretty basic. Um, we gotta deal with a lot of platforms, we gotta deal with a lot of bottomless pits. We gotta do a lot of walking into the clouds that can lead to not knowing what's coming up ahead, which is kinda lame, but the stage of itself is not hard at all. It is a really, really simple stage. The, on the only bad thing about it is those little platforms that have those spikes on either side of them. We dealt with them already, and we're going to deal with a few more, but they're not that bad. They're, they're not bad at all. As you see, they're, they're, they, the clouds are blocking it, but you can fall down. And yeah, those are the spiky things, but... Yeah. I don't know why I failed miserably at that. I think I jumped a little too early. But if you get hurt, most of the time you can just walk past it and avoid it. There's so many ways to get life in this game that it's not even worth it when you are having troubles, as, especially in the Robot Master stages. Like, we're, we're doing so good with life, it doesn't even matter. Come on. Oh, did I fail here? I think I failed here, too. Yep, I did actually fail here. Wow, I'm an idiot. Wow. Yeah, those spike things can be a pain in the ass if you don't know what you're doing. Sadly, I was just being an idiot because... I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah I, yeah, I decided here to just be like, fuck it. Just get hit. I don't care. I don't care. Just jump. Yeah, there you go. And now we're going to be dealing with little fan guys over here, which I guess are like fatter versions of Air Man mixed with Mega Man. I don't know. They remind me of Mega Man, so... But they're easy to beat. Just a few hits and you're... You kill them. And we're dealing with the birds like you can see here. And then they start adding both of them in, which is... They can be kind of lame at, a time, at times, but... It's not hard, especially with Metal Blades. Because, I mean, it's Metal Blades. Come on. And, of course, we can just charge up all our... All our stuff here. It's... These birds are our one-stop shop. <laughs> And anyway, we are now going up against Airman, which is considered one of the hardest bosses of the game, compared uh, compared even with the... Uh, what was it called? The final boss. The final boss is a bitch, but Airman can be a bit of an ass if you don't have the leaf shield. He will constantly shoot hurricanes at us, and those little hurricane things will move ahead so they're in patterns, and... You can't shoot your way through them, so you have to wait till you have an opening. And as you can see, he can take a lot of life off of you, and it's it's kind of disheartening. Like, yeah, I almost died. Like, I just started mashing the shit out of the shoot button to shoot out the leaf shield. But we've done it. We've beaten Airman, and we've gotten his air shooter. Air shooters. A strange weapon, it, it shoots out three hurricanes and they launch up. And that's all they really do, and it's not really a good weapon other than that. And we've got a message from Dr. Light saying that we've got item two, which is a necessity. A necessity when we get to Heat Man stage. Let me tell you, Heat Man stage is a bitch. And without item two, it's pretty much impossible. I've never gotten through Heat Man stage without using item two. And you will know when we get there. You you will you will definitely understand. But anyway, guys, we're running out of time. This is it for the episode today. In the next episode, we will be going up against Crash Man. As always, if, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, this is Mash. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time.